Hey, the Cox. Thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, let's just jump right into this one. We're talking about how to clean your crock pot, but not like the outside part. I'm not talking about like the electronic part, the metal part. I'm talking about the ceramic insert, okay? You got stuff burning in there. I know a lot of people like to use these plastic bags to cook in. I just feel, I feel wrong about cooking inside of a plastic bag. Uh, but I'll show you a quick and easy way to get that ceramic looking like new. All right, we did some big cooking over the weekend. Let's just toss the lid to the side. Okay, because the lid just can clean up like a lid. All right, we're just going to use a sponge. I got this uh, 3M Scotch sponge, which I love. Uh, the scratchy part of this actually has the ability to not scratch up stuff, uh, but still clean. Uh, their cheap generic ones are, are really terrible. But anyways, that's what I'm specifically using. And I'm going to have some Amazon links description down below of some of the, uh, the tools and accessories and soaps I'm using. All right, now this is what I'm talking about right here. And this is why a lot of people started using bags inside their crock pots instead of just using their crock pot. And like I said, using plastic bag to cook inside just seems wrong. But, um, and this is white, okay? A lot of crock pots are dark colors like black and charcoal and stuff. And I'm gonna show you, I can get this clean, okay? I cooked a pot of beans in here, ham and beans, and, and that stuff's gonna be hard to get off. But here's my secret weapon right here. Yes, your cooktop cleaner. Okay, you're like, wait, wait, that's for your glass stovetops, right? Well, yes, but many people don't realize is that those glass stovetops are a ceramic glazed glass. That's how like, you know, those markings, you know, right, like right here and here where it shows where the burners are and other stuff. That's how that writing stays on there. It's a ceramic glaze. So this stuff is okay for ceramic. I'm not gonna do something crazy and use like steel wool and other things like that that's gonna damage the, uh, the finish you know, on the ceramic, it's just going to dole it all out and, and just destroy it. This stuff is safe for ceramic. you got to shake it up real good first because it separates real bad. All right, and we're just going to put it on the uh, scratchy side of the sponge, like so. The sponge is already wet. Okay, get it kind of in there. And, and here we go. All right, it's not perfect. I need to go around it a second time. Okay, I did it real quick there, as you guys can see. Um, but you can also see the white ceramic looks freaking amazing already with just a few spots there that I miss. So yes, that stuff does work very well. Okay, there, we're just gonna wrap this puppy up, okay? Like I said, super quick, super easy, but it's a really great trick on getting these ceramics, whether it's a crock pot or some kind of other ceramic cooking dish. There's a lot of uh, cast iron that's now ceramic glazed, you know, that you can use to like make stews and stuff in. I use the same thing in that, okay? Makes it look brand new. Really, really love it. Please share this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out our website. There's another video for you guys to enjoy. Thanks again.